Steam is by far one of the biggest PC gaming platforms around, but it isn't always easy to work with. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candido Technology, and in this video, we're talking about why Steam is required to run some of your games and how you can fix it. So the Steam must be running to play this game error often comes up when either you're missing your game files or Steam just isn't running in the background and the game associates itself with it. Uh, one of the easiest ways to fix this problem is to simply close Steam and restart it again. Now to do this, head over to your system tray, right click Steam and then just click exit. This will open up a prompt that will shut down Steam. And now if I go to my task manager and search for Steam, you'll see that there are no Steam related processes here. So now let's just go ahead and restart it. We'll give it a second to load up. But once Steam is open, you can then go ahead and relaunch your game and it should start working without any problems. Another thing you can try out is to opt out of the Steam beta if you're into one. So to do this, once again, open up Steam, head over to the Steam menu in the top right and then click on settings. So what we're going to do is head over to the interface option and in the client beta participation setting, make sure that a no beta is chosen. If you have the Steam beta update or if you're using it, it can cause issues with your game. So just make sure to set Steam to work with no betas and you should be good to go. Next up, we're going to verify the integrity of our game just to make sure that all of the required files are there that the game needs to run. To do this, head over to your library and uh, then pick the game that you have having problems with, for example, FC25. Then go ahead and click on properties, head over to install files and click the verify integrity of game files buttons to run a check. Steam will make sure that all of the files are available and uh, uh, anything that the game needs to run is downloaded and saved on your system so you can get playing. If that doesn't fix your problem either, you can also look at disabling workshop mods. To find them, uh, just head over to community and then click on workshop. In here, go to your games and find the game that you're having a problem with. Once you're in the community, find any maps that you have uh, subscribed to. Or uh, you can just hover over your name here, then click on subscribed items. And this will show you all of the different maps or workshop mods that you have subscribed to. You can just unsubscribe them by clicking this button. And once all of these have been unsubscribed, you can then restart your game. There is also an option to unsubscribe from all right here. Exactly for these cases when you need to just get your game back to its vanilla shape, which means unsubscribing from all workshop mods, maps and things like that. Finally, if nothing else works, there is a chance that your Windows firewall might be blocking uh, your game or your application. Now to test this out, what you can do is press the Windows key and search for Windows Security. Go ahead and click on it. In here, click on Firewall, firewall and Network Protection. And then in here, whatever network you're on, if you're on a public or a private network, for example, I'm on a public network, you just click on it and then disable the firewall. It will ask you for permissions. But once the firewall is off, go ahead and try running your game again. If it works, then you're going to have to add your game and both Steam as a firewall exception. In order to do that, we're going to have to go back to our firewall settings and then click on allow an app to firewall. This will open up this interface and then click on change settings to make this editable. So now if I go all the way down, you will notice that Steam most probably will already be in this list. As you can see right here, Steam is allowed on both public and private networks. Whatever your game might be, if you don't see it in this list, just click on allow another app and then click on browse to go and find the executable for that particular app. Once it's there, make sure that it's allowed on public or private or both networks and you should be able to get your game running in no time. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. 
If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology. Follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and we'll see you in the next video.